Hello and welcome to another Times Ticking YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about a time capsule that's been buried under New York City for 80 years containing some very horological elements. So stick with us through this intro and we're going to have a look at that time capsule with you. Flushing Meadows Park, Queens, New York City. This is the site for two time capsules that aren't meant to be opened until the year 6,939, 5,000 years after they were buried. In an effort to preserve vignettes of human language, English more specifically, American culture and modern technology, these two time capsules were constructed to withstand five millennia of burial. The first of these massive missile-shaped containers was placed underground by the Westinghouse Electric Company and Manufacturing Company in 1939. With the 20th century being a boon for tech advancement, a second capsule was filled with period-specific items and buried beneath Flushing Meadows Park in 1965. Each capsule is made of composite metals, with airtight glass envelopes to contain all of the various trinkets and literature pertaining to the times. As of now, they remain buried 50 feet below Flushing Meadows Park, and their contents are a bit laughable by today's standards. But they do exemplify what many Americans found important in the thick of an explosive technological era. With commercial production of consumer goods taking a hold of the American conscience, a lot of the daily life items found inside of the capsules, which were fascinating in their day, are now easily acquired globally. This includes electric powered toys, radios, everyday items, and of course, time pieces are included. Now the story of these two time capsules begins in 1939, as I may have already mentioned. The 1939 rendition of the World's Fair was the largest one in United States history. Its number of patrons exceeded 44 million. Considering the amount of travel time it would take many people to reach New York City, this was no small feat. The event itself is where the modern term time capsule was coined by one George Edward Pendray, referring to the Westinghouse designed container. This particular capsule contained a 1939 Montgomery Ward alarm clock and a mechanical women's wristwatch from the same company. It also stores an electric razor, a package of camel cigarettes, and other men's and women's grooming utilities, including the ever timeless and fascinating bobby pin. Albert Einstein himself also left a somber but hopeful message for future generations inside of the capsule. His words, and the words of other great minds, combined with everyday items and entertainment devices, make for quite an eclectic vision of the recent past. The second World's Fair capsule created by Westinghouse came in 1965. Buried just a few years before the first successful trip to the moon, this space race infused capsule features some upgraded tech. Its prime horological representative is a Bulova Accutron space view. This tuning fork timekeeper is complemented by other 1960s flair. To briefly describe some of the items featured, there's a bikini, detergent, transistor radio, and of course, another pack of camel cigarettes can all be found buried under Flushing Meadows Park. This far out tube also features a Beatles LP, birth control, and pieces of rock and ships inside. Evolving cultural shifts will be fun to analyze for any future folks who find this tube alongside its companion. 1960s popular culture, as well as other modern technological advancements, are on full display. In contrast in many ways to the items that were featured just 25 years prior in the other Westinghouse capsule. Although these two Westinghouse time capsules have their differences, there are a lot of common threads between the two, especially considering where they're geographically located. As they stand, both capsules feature microfilm reels full of literature. As well, there are representations of how the human vocal apparatus functions to create speech sounds. Literature describing the location of these capsules was sent to over 3,000 places to help any future living beings geolocate their position. As well, the dates chosen for burying the capsules coincide with significant astronomical cycles. This was done in an effort to make their location easy to determine via the actions of the stars. Being a time-specific endeavor, the capsules do a great job of incorporating both modern and ancient time-telling tools in their potential retrieval. Nowadays, with the advent of online archival knowledge, most info can be stored in compressed files and on digital landscapes. However, 
though time capsules may be going the way of the dinosaur. These buried treasures punctuate significant technologies and social sentiments from times past. Maybe one day we'll find a reason to unearth these capsules prematurely in an effort to better preserve them. Some speculate that rising sea levels, over time, will obscure the containers to any would-be future archaeologists. For now, there's still some 4,920 years to go on this time-oriented endeavor. Now, 4,920 years is plenty of time for new time capsule-like technology to come around, so hopefully we find ways to preserve our time pieces now, as well as any new technologies as we tick into the future. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.